As a heterosexual female, I think we could all agree that the number one reason we are not dating is men. Hey, babe. Yeah. Have you ever tried five guys? At the same time or at different times? I'm talking about the freaking food, woman. Yo, what is going on guys? I hope you are all doing well. So on today's episode, we are going to be going over some of the reasons why modern dating is going downhill. Because guess what, gentlemen? It does not matter if you ask a 51-year-old recently divorced man returning to the dating scene, or if you ask a 21-year-old highly attractive woman, everybody in 2022, it seems like, hates modern day dating. And we're going to be going over some of the reasons why modern day dating is so terrible. And guys, I could have made this list so incredibly long, but I'm going to go through five points. So guys, if you have any experiences or anything you would like to add to the list, feel free to do so, guys. That is what the comment box is for. And before we jump into it, guys, don't forget if you're interested in supporting the channel to come and check us out over on Patreon or Locals. The link will be in the description for exclusive videos and stuff like that. But with the shills out of the way, guys, let's jump into the first reason why modern dating is going downhill here. And it is that hypergamy is rampant with social media, okay? And what I mean by this, if you don't know what hypergamy means or you don't really understand how social media fits into this, what I mean is that modern women have a ridiculous amount of options, okay? And there'll always be some dude like, oh yeah, but Taylor, you know, she's not attracted to her options or, you know, there are not enough economically viable men or some crap like that. And guys, my answer to that is I don't give a crap. Okay, it's kind of like an incredibly rich person complaining about being broke when in actual fact they're not broke, you just can't afford the yacht that you want, okay? Girls have so many damn options with dating guys, and this is why, well at least one of the reasons why, I have absolutely no sympathy for girls who get to, you know, the older and older a woman gets without having a relationship, the bigger of a red flag it becomes. So when you see all these girls out here saying like, oh, I'm 35, I'm 40, and I still don't have a boyfriend, these girls have so many options, yet that they, they have decided that they have been above those options pretty much the entire damn time, or they've just been shooting out of their price range the entire damn time. Okay, so that's the first reason there is hypergamy is rampant with social media because the thing is, guys, there used to be a time where you as a man, um, you were living, living in maybe a small community or a city or whatever, you would only have to compete with the men in that particular area. But thanks to social media, we are now in an age where dudes are competing with men on the other side of the world. You know, girls are getting flown out. They're getting hit up from everywhere. And it gives a lot of girls, not all of them, before the old police come to the channel, but it gives a lot of these girls uh, a sense of entitlement that is really repulsive because they just want to replace every dude, right? Oh, if Sam doesn't do what I want, well, I'll go talk with Ben, right? This is why you hear so many girls when they get into relationships or when they get out of them, rather, they'll say crap like, oh, we drifted apart or um, I fell out of love with him or some crap like that. And then within two weeks, she's with another dude because what she's done is she's lined up the next guy ahead of time with social media. And this is what social media allows women to do, guys. They can get on Tinder, have 50 relationships at their fingertips, lowballing it right there. And this, this amount of options gives, to be honest, a lot of girls arrogance that is not conducive to a long-term relationship. Because the thing is, nothing ever gets fixed, right? You think that these girls are going to get into a relationship with a guy, right? Um, one, that they're going to respect and be attracted to. And two, even if they get into the relationship with a guy, they're always going to be keeping their doors open to something better. This is why girls will so adamantly defend having crap like Instagram or like Tinder on their phone because... These two things, and I do mean both of them, are dating applications, right? Girls out here posting bikini pictures, acting like it's for themselves, you know, putting on a hell of a lot of makeup and going to clubs. And we as men, we're supposed to believe that this is just for themselves. No, it's an invitation to other guys uh, to, you know, see what uh, what can become of it. 
So guys, that's the first point right there. Hypergamy is rampant with social media. Now, the second point that I have here is, uh, to nobody's surprise, womanism. Okay, so I'm avoiding the word here, but I'm going to say it once for the video, guys. I am talking about feminism, which I'm going to be referring to as womanism for the rest of the video, because crap like that can get the video flagged, right? Which says a lot about the state that we're in right now, doesn't it? But uh, womanism, in particular, is a huge issue. Um, and one of the reasons is because it lies to women and it tells them that they can have everything. Okay. How many times do you see a lot of girls say, okay, well, I want to go out there. I want to be a boss, babe. I want to be a career woman. And then she figures out by 35 that she's in deep trouble and she's trying to freeze her eggs and crap like that. You know, like rather than have a family, a lot of these women have been told that, um, they can have it all, their Prince Charming is coming eventually, but the problem is when they rock up to this age and they've been going through bad boys this entire time, having flings with dudes who are not interested in committing to them, they have a cry when they get the, to the end of it because they've been lied to, right? And I hold both parties accountable here. One, the women for believing in this garbage, um, but also two, uh, womanism, right? It's an incredibly, it's so funny, guys. I've brought this up multiple times on the channel. I swear to you, it must be one of the, the most profitable business models is to just go out here and lie to women and sell things um, that play off of their ego. You know, like, oh, don't worry, queen. You can go out there and do whatever you want. By the way, buy my $2,000 uh, dating course or some crap like that, and I'll help you find Prince Charming, uh, even if you're 40 and you've got a career that's incredibly demanding. Um and you still want to have a family and stuff like that. It just doesn't happen. Because every year a woman gets older, guys, her options slowly and slowly reduce. Now, she's still going to have more options than the average guy, um, but a lot of them will whine and complain and, and all this kind of crap as they get older. And womanism sells them that, right? It, it sells them a whole bunch of crap, not least the idea to go out there and be masculine and be a giant pain in the ass. Like, I can't tell you, I used to do... um. I used to do Patreon calls for supporters, right? Where I would uh, set up a call with uh, dudes and they would tell me about... Um, a lot of guys would tell me about their past relationships or maybe the relationships that they were in. And over time, the relationships just got incredibly terrible, particularly with the womanists or the girls who had friends that were womanists and stuff like that, because they would begin to adopt this like incredibly entitled attitude like you'll notice a lot of women insist that no matter what men should pay because apparently we're just supposed to okay like a lot of girls will absolutely refuse to be feminine and be a traditional housewife but they will insist that you be a traditional husband and you pay for everything and you drive everywhere guys before you get into the next one i'm going to tell you a quick story okay i know this guy who was in a relationship for a very long period of time, okay? And the girl sold him the traditional idea of, oh, you know, all of her past relationships have been terrible. She's got PTSD and all that crap, despite the fact that she doesn't um, because she hasn't fought in any wars. But hey, it is what it is, right? 2022, apparently the woman's got PTSD, um, whatever. She doesn't. Um, but she sold him this idea that her relationships in the past were terrible and that she can't do a lot of things now. And one of the things that she told him was that she couldn't drive because it triggered her, right? So he would be out here working his ass off um, on his career, trying to make ends meet to pay for the family, um, also to pay for a kid that wasn't his, by the way. So the woman was obviously a single mother. Um, and the relationship ends, okay? And when the relationship ends... What do you know, guys? She's up and about. She's driving. Uh, she's going to see dudes and all this kind of crap. And it, it's just so insane to me that, like, we as dudes, we're supposed to just accept this and we're supposed to drive women around, pay for all their crap, all these kind of things. And, like, what do the girls do a lot of the times? Now, I'm not saying that there are a lot of women who don't do things in relationships or whatever. Um, before the all police come to the channel and Taylor says, oh, all women do this. No, obviously they act differently. But there are a lot of girls, especially those growing up with such a ridiculous amount of options that feel entitled to a man's effort and energy simply because they are a woman and it's absolutely disgusting. Okay, and we have a lot of womanism to thank for that, by the way, um, because obviously it's very easy to convince women that they are oppressed as it feeds into their ego. But let's continue on to the next point here. Um, which kind of ties in a little bit, which is that people are treating each other as completely expendable. Okay. And again, this dovetails back into the first two points that I kind of made here, guys. But a lot of people, 
they will go into relationships right and rather than work on any issues that the two of them may have or like there used to be a time guys right where when you would get married it would be through thick and thin you stay there you are life partners any issues that one person has uh, will become the issues of another and you two will work through it as a team okay yes there'll be days where you don't like each other but guess what you make sacrifices and you continue forward guys in the year of 2022 uh, marriage especially, long-term relationships are kind of on their way out because the people who end up in these situations are one, women who have an incredible amount of options and two, the guys at the top who have an incredible amount of options, right? So what ends up happening is both these groups kind of make each other a bit jaded where the girls are like, oh, men are terrible because no dude's committing to her um, and throwing her out every time she does something slightly annoying and vice versa. Okay, so people are just out here willing to just throw away people um, right off the bat without, you know, ever trying to work on any issues. And like I said, guys, you know, social media, you go back to the amount of options that women have. And rather than work out their issues with Sam over here, it's so much easier to just answer that Instagram DM from Ben. And before you know it, she's on a coffee date, um, if we can call it that these days, right? But guys, let's continue on to the last point here, and then we'll jump into a dating profile and today's Reddit story on today's episode. So the last point that I have written here uh, is hookup culture. Now, I've mentioned this a couple of times here and there, guys, but I don't think hookup culture is good for men or good for women. Um, you'll hear it. This is just my opinion, guys. Feel free to have a different one if you so desire. I don't think hookup culture is good for either gender. Uh, I think it's quite unhealthy. You guys will notice that I don't advocate for men to go out there and get with a whole bunch of women. Now, if you're going to do that, I personally don't give a crap. You know, you're welcome to do whatever the, you want with your life um, and, and go out there and do what you want. But I don't think it's a healthy thing for men. And I don't think it's a healthy thing for women either. Um, and this is just perpetuated with social media apps and stuff like that. Like a lot of the older guys, right, who were dating um, before Tinder came out, before Instagram came out and crap like that. Like the difference that those two things alone have made insofar as hookup culture is absolutely ridiculous. And it kind of ruins people's ability to pair bond and create an actual relationship. Because even if, it's so funny, right? Even if a dude is out here and he's emotionally available to a woman and he's doing what she wants and stuff like that, she can't appreciate it anymore. Like again, guys, you wind back the clocks, okay? If a man was chivalrous, like it had some weight to it, okay? But now it's like you as a guy, if you go out here and you open a door, oh, he's being creepy. Oh, he wants to get with me, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And like everybody's out here just having one night stands that they've met from Tinder and crap like that. And it's not good for the family unit. It's not good for people's mental health. Uh, and that's probably the last reason. As Because as well, right, is with hookup culture, a lot of the dudes at the top, like they'll just tell girls straight up like, oh, yeah, I'm interested in something serious, but I need to get someone to know someone first or they've got to be the right person. And so women will buy this cheap little lie and they'll go out here and then they'll blame the dudes for them believing in the lie that the dude has told them 30 plus times. And, you know, it just keeps on going and going and going uh, until a lot of these people have no ability to pair bond um, and uh, long-term relationships uh, in the absolute gutter. And guys, actually, I do have one more point here that I kind of missed um, as to why dating is going downhill. So we'll go through that one before we jump into the dating profile. So the last point that I've written down here is that a lot of people are broken as a result of their upbringing uh, and the unhealthy cycle of families getting destroyed. So guys, like all of these points above, you may have noticed that they are not good. Like if the dating environment is terrible, um families are also in a terrible position you know birth rates are going down people are not out here um having families and crap like that and what what that ends up meaning guys is you will wind up with a lot of situations where one parent typically not the woman uh is out of the household right so what i mean by that guys is you wind up in situations and climates like this where families are broken to the point where fathers are usually out of the picture so the child has to grow up whether that be um you know a daughter or a son they have to grow up without a father and the lack of a father 
really impacts their dating lives okay maybe if you're a dude um you might not understand what to do on dates or whatever or, or going out with girls and stuff like that because we all know women are gonna, <laughs> women aren't going to teach you how to date correctly right so you're going to go out there you're probably going to get absolutely ruined um and if you're a daughter and you don't have a, a father figure chances are you'll be lacking some pretty serious boundaries and you might find yourself ending up working on a pole or something of that description but the end result is that this cycle of breaking people by particularly removing fathers is something that continues on with the child, right? If you deprive a child of having a father figure or a mother figure in the household, the child is going to have a worse dating experience and is also inadvertently going to create worse dating experiences um, for others, even if they don't mean to do so. And that's not me out here knocking on uh, people who have grown up without a father or anything like that. Obviously, that's a terrible situation. Um, but, you know, there's an old saying, guys, which is broken creates broken, right? And it's pretty awful. Uh, but let's continue into today's uh, dating profile here, gentlemen. And from memory, this is a pretty disgusting one that we have lined up. Uh, so let's jump right on over into it. So here we have a woman uh, whose name we have blurred, but as you can see, this is her picture right here. Uh, seems like a bit of a party girl. I don't really know where this picture is taken. It looks like a, a bar or, or something like that. It's kind of difficult to tell. Uh, attractive looking blonde woman, it seems, quite young. Um, and we're going to be jumping into uh, her dating profile and a conversation, if I can even call it that, a couple of lines here of a conversation between her and a man. So as you can see, uh, the man reaches out here on May 28th, 11.05 uh, a.m. And he says, hi. And this is this woman's response to him saying hi. Okay. And I, I don't think this is faked. Um, I don't know, but I don't think it's faked. But let's jump in and see what she said. She said, hi, that's it. I don't generally respond to anyone who doesn't at least write a few sentences to grab my attention or make me laugh. I don't got that kind of time, you feel me? And yet she has the time to write out this garbage, right? Guys, I never believe a lot of people when they say I don't have the time. Uh, usually it just means it's a low priority. This woman's sitting here writing out a full damn paragraph, um, but yet she doesn't have the time, right? Make that make sense to me. So I clicked on your profile, fully prepared to talk some crap, and then I noticed two things. One, you're a Scorpio too, and two, you have a cat. And then, holy crap, as I scrolled back up, I noticed that you have the whole trifecta thing going for you. Six foot four is my jam, and you're six foot five. So high blank. So I don't know how many red flags you can fit in this tiny little paragraph that this woman has written here. First off, she's into star signs. Second of all, she likes cats. And if you guys watch the channel, you already know I hate that animal. Absolutely terrible animal. Get a dog, right? So she's into, she's into star signs. She has a cat. And you can already tell right off the bat, this woman is absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Okay. But again, guys, this is kind of the situation where like, if you're an attractive dude, you can, or at least if you're attractive to the girl, you can get away with a lot more bullcrap than a dude who um who isn't attractive to the woman there's a saying going around i think it's something like you can do anything to a woman but bore her and guys like i totally agree with that like i really do you know a lot of girls they can put up with a lot of crap they'll deal with a lot of crap not to say that i think that's virtuous because they enter into it of their own volition but they put up with a lot of crap from the dudes that they find attractive right so when they come crawling around asking for sympathy i just don't care at all let's continue down here and this is the last thing and this guy says uh, let me see if i can move my character here he says no thanks you talk too much sent on 8 47 june the second fantastic stuff right fantastic stuff because she does talk too much uh and she is totally and utterly damn crazy now guys let's jump into today's reddit story here as my character pops into the scene uh and see what i have pulled up here now i have a bit of a story uh, a bit of a short one from dating over 30 our favorite subreddit here guys uh where women start to realize that men aren't interested in them anymore or they're struggling with dating and it's pretty funny to watch um but let's take a look right here so this is titled i'm afraid that i am too old i'm a 35 year old female single mother and lone parent and recently i had four kid free days and guys see this is exactly what i'm talking about okay there are so many girls 
right who are single mothers now i understand okay if you were with a dude and the dude passed away or maybe he's no longer with us and obviously that's incredibly unfortunate okay but a lot of these situations that's actually not what's happened and the girl has either said oh he's a usive it basically all comes down to the fact that this woman has chose a terrible guy now i'm not removing accountability from the guy if he chose to leave the family or stuff like that obviously that's different but a lot of these situations it's like the women either kick out the dude or they say he's abusive all this stuff maybe they don't know the father um but it's kind of your responsibility if you're going to have a kid to choose the correct man and to have that man be in the picture the entire damn time for the kid uh, a lot of these girls can't choose men uh, if their life depended on it so we wind up with situations like this where children are out here growing up without fathers which obviously is quite disgusting let's continue uh blah blah, blah. it was amazing i also spent Sorry, so she had four kid-free days. Uh, it was amazing. She also spent a decent amount of time looking for men to hook up with. Wow, can you imagine, guys, like this whole like Lana Rhodes video that I did recently, like, you know, kids out here growing up and their mothers have like OF accounts and like you can literally just Google the mother's names and the kids are going to get bullied in school. That's what 2022 looks like. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I have a friends with benefits, but he's not available and or willing to give it to me as much as I need. So I need a roster, she says. Then I got to thinking, I am 35. What if I am still doing this at age 40 or 45? I like the idea of friends with benefits. I love having bedroom fun. So it's not that I think I'm doing anything wrong necessarily, but I don't know. Are we supposed to stop doing these things at some point? Lol, she says. At what point is this socially unacceptable? I know my married kids have got to think I'm crazy for the things that I do. Well, madam, uh, in the year 2022, this is actually not socially unacceptable at all. You are strong and empowered. You are a queen. You are permitted and encouraged to go out here and see random dudes, even if you are a single mother, because of course, that is what is healthy. Guys, we're going to be leaving today's video there. As always, remember to leave your thoughts and your comments. And if there's anything you would like to add, guys, as to why dating is going downhill, feel free to do so. That is what the comments box is for. And as always, gentlemen, make sure you take care of yourselves and I'll be seeing you all in the next episode. Peace. Yo, what is going on, guys? Past Taylor here. Just want to say thank you if you made it to the end of today's video. Before you head out, there's just a few announcements that I'd like to make. The first is that my editor, who goes through all of the blood, sweat, and tears of putting together content for us to endure, has started his own YouTube channel. The link will be in the video description, so make sure that you go and show him some support by going and giving him a sub. Also, we are currently looking to expand fiendish content creation behind the scenes so if you are interested in becoming a content creator alongside me be sure to check out the application form at the very bottom of the video description this is for those of you who are interested in becoming a part of the content that you see here on youtube so if you're interested in applying make sure to get in quick people who apply first will have priority for consideration again the link is at the very bottom of the video description lastly if you guys are interested in supporting the channel there are links to both Patreon Patreon and locals below the video guys i'd like to extend a huge thank you to the supporters on those two platforms you guys allow me to make these episodes and your support is greatly appreciated as always guys make sure you take care of yourselves and i will catch you later for real this time guys peace